church, say amen again. Amen. amen. Truly, we thank the Lord for another day that he has blessed us. Yes. And we thank God for being in the land of the dead. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Dead folk cannot praise God. Amen. 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 Only alive folk. I'd like to invite your attention tonight to St. Luke, the fourth chapter of St. Luke, 4 and 18, amen, 4 and 18, when you get it, you say amen, almost there, Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of the sight to the blind. To set at liberty them that are abused. And I love you to a thought this after this evening. Anointed to heal the brokenhearted. Mm -hmm. Anointed to heal the brokenhearted. This is part one. Rapture will take place. We'll finish part two Sunday. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for this time and this space. Speak to our hearts and our minds as we go into your word. Give us ears to hear and a mind to obtain. Anoint these lips of clay that the hearers may hear what thus saith the Lord. And we'll thank you. And we'll bless you. Yes. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Anointed hmm, to heal the broken heart. God's plan to restore his original intent for mankind. It begins with our reconciliation to him through the ministry and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. That's where it begins. With our reconciliation to him through the ministry and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And we know that he sacrificed for us. Amen. Amen. He was hung up for our hang-ups. Yes. He died in our stead. Amen. Two, Jesus was sent to earth by the Father to be a healer and mentor of lives. That's why he came. To be a healer and to mentor lives and bring folks back together again. Bring them to him. That's why we are the embassies where folk come. They come to us and we take them directly to Jesus. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. So, he declared that the Spirit of the Lord was upon him to heal hearts that had been broken. It was upon Jesus. He declared this. 
that the Holy Spirit was upon him, that wherever he went, if you ever, when you read about Jesus, his assignment as he was moving through, folk that was sick was getting healed. Amen. Amen. Folk that was afflicted was being healed. Folk that was dead and dead, they were coming, coming back to life again. Amen. It's something about him. That's why he said the anointing is upon him. He is anointed to heal, deliver, and to set you free. Think about it. Amen. When you was broken and messed up, tore up from the floor, when you met Jesus, he cleaned you up. Amen. Straightened you up. He fixed it for you. When you couldn't fix it, you're Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. He would repair lives that have been torn by disappointments and grief. Have you ever been disappointed? Yes. Oh, amen. Yes. Look like he was born disappointed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Disappointment never leaves you alone. Wherever there is opportunity, disappointment always shows up. Amen. Amen. And it's to make you feel some type of way. And that's why you got to be careful when you're going through pain, sickness, affliction, or whatever. Be careful what you say out of your mouth. Amen. Because the healing process is in your mouth. Yes, yes, yes it is. This body will function the function that God has created to function. And I rebuke any malfunction that comes to hinder in the name of Jesus. That's powerful by itself. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's what Jesus went to the cross for. Can I get away? Amen. So the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. In other words, something special about Jesus. Yes. Everything about him is special. Mm -hmm. When you look at it, he was born in a way and a stable a manger. Mm -hmm. He said, the son of man don't have nowhere to lay his, his head. But foxes and birds can go where they want to go, but the son of man don't have. You got to see the special in him because he was anointed. Your anointing will make you special. Amen. Amen. Now other folk that are anointed and not jealous can accept you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Jealous folks that say they are anointed, they can't accept you. Amen. Because they want what you got. Amen. And they're supposed to have what you have. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He's a healer. Yes, he he's is. a deliverer. He's a mind regulator. Yes. He soothes. No, he's, he, he soothes and smooths all of your doubts. Thank you, Lord. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. You need to start telling yourself your nickname is increased. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Amen. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, but he said to preach deliverance. Very important. Deliverance to the captives and recovering of the sight to the blind. That's power. But that takes an anointing to do. That's what Jesus did. And he did it so. Even every time I think about the woman with the issue of blood, she crawled through the crowd just to touch the hem of his garment. And when she touched the hem of his garment, he felt because his virtue went out. Mm -hmm. And she was healed. Now that's some kind of power. Yes. Even his threads was anointed. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh the anointing is real. Amen. Yes. All you gotta do is accept it. Mm -hmm. Live right and do the right thing. That anointed the floor for you call the dove. Yes. The dove of heaven. So, Jesus was sent by God. 
He was sent by God to bring proclamation to healing and freedom to us. What is proclamation, Pastor? Mm -hmm. It is a message that is designed to produce a specific response. I was delivered from my wounds. I can personally say that as a testimony for me. And scars because God empowered Jesus to come to earth to deliver me. Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 I'm proud about that. Yes. I honor it. I, I, I thank him every day. Amen. Every day I thank him. I ain't Amen. like I used to be. Yes. Amen. 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 Hey, say, moving on. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Can we get a piece of the pie? I want the whole thing. Can yes. I get a witness? Amen. 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 Don't give me a slice because I'm greedy. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. <laughs> he came with a powerful message that freed me from the captivity caused by my broken. He will do the same for you. He did it for me. He'll do it for you. Yes. He did it for me. He'll do it for you. He did it for Moses. He did it for Abraham. He did it for Isaac, Jacob, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. He do it for you. He did it for Babel. Amen. I call her baby Ruth. Amen. Amen. He do it for you. Amen. Ain't talking about no candy bar neither. <laughs> Ruth. Talking about Queen Ruth. In other words, he did it for her. He do it for you. He did it for Naomi. He do it for you. Amen. He did it for Boaz. <laughs> do it for you. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. So if he did it for them, why you sell them for anything? You're not in the really. You should be in a position to settle for anything. Amen. You should be a snob about what you want. Be snobbish. About it. Amen. 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 God said, "It's yours. Whatever you want, you got to ask for me." He said, "But my anointed that I put in Jesus is to bring my people back to me, and whosoever will, let him come." Them that accept Christ and receive the anointing, their job is to do the same thing. Amen. You don't retire from God. Amen. Amen. And you can't take no vacation from God. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I hope I'm helping somebody. Yes. Because yes. I found out that when I help, I, I, I believe in helping myself too. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. You feel that? I can breathe the Holy Ghost. I tell you something else. The governor is awesome. Yes. I say awesome. Yes. He in me. Yes. I ain't got to call him down. He's in me Amen. to bring me up. Amen. Jesus is anointed. He is anointed to do what might seem impossible. To you right now. To you right now. It may seem like it's impossible for you. It may seem like it's impossible for you. I think we did a, 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 a series on called out to do the impossible. Mm -hmm. I got more to go with it, but I think I gave you about three or four series of it. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Well, it, it, it's true. Do you know you was called out to do the impossible? Mm -hmm. Amen. Have you ever noticed a lot of things that you do now you thought you couldn't do before? Yes. Mm -hmm. But you're doing them. You know why you're doing them? Because you've been called out. Yes. Yeah. Can I get away? Amen. 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 When you've been called out, that means you stand out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stand up. Yes. Stand and let the holy boldness of the Holy Ghost do what it needs to do. Amen. That's why I say people say they got the Holy Ghost 
and there ain't no name out and ain't talking to people about stuff. The Holy Ghost is waiting. That little people will come around. Yes. He said, I ain't saying nothing to them. And the Holy Ghost is hey, you over there. Yo, you fella. Yo, yo, young lady, yo. And you be talking about the Holy Ghost, put your hand down. Do you know Jesus? Yeah. Do you know Jesus? Mm -hmm. Do you know who he is? Do you know what he's about? Do you know the power that he possesses and the power that he gives us as believers yes, to do the impossible? Yes. Yes, Y'all trying to start so. <laughs> It's a good thing because we all in the house. Amen. Amen. Set he, Jesus is anointed to set you free. I don't care what comes upon you to set you free from the chains. And the confining mindset of your past. Have you noticed when you read your word, when you go into prayer, or you try to get close to Jesus, or somebody that got Jesus in them, your past always pop up. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it comes up is because the devil don't want you to go nowhere. Some of you keep throwing old pictures. And the reason why he's throwing old pictures up because he don't have no new pictures. Amen. Because you've been walking with the Lord. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. So he keeps throwing up old stuff. And the stuff that gave you that drama stuff, you know. Yeah. That stuff that made you mad. That stuff that made you want to choke somebody. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Throw bricks at him or take your high heels off, you know. You know, you know how you you know how you was. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He brings that up so you can feel some type of way. He always try to get into your feelings. I'm talking about mm -hmm. Satan. Yep. And then the doctors, you got to pray for them. You got to go see the doctor. Yeah. Some of them just as crazy as a bowl of yacht. Amen. I see. You ain't got the gift of prophecy. <laughs> you see what? You see my way out of here. I mean, Amen. That was another word. Whatever you say, that ain't what God said. Amen. He said, I'm healed by his stripes. Amen. His stripes, I am healed by. Yes. In other words, the blood has power. Yes. Amen. There's power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. And because there's power in the blood of Jesus, I can live. Amen. Hey. This don't look right. That don't look right. This ain't right. That ain't right. But Doc, I know I'm right. I've been picked out to be picked on. Because I mean business with God. Amen. And when you mean business with God, somebody going to always do something to come at you. Amen. 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 Once as you love your family, they can be your most miserable nightmares to you. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah, you love them dearly. But they can, boy, they can do some stuff to you to make you bite your tongue. Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Don't bite your tongue. You will need to eat your tongue. sandwich or something. Can I get away? Hey, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hey, get mad. And you know when you get, have you noticed when you get upset, your blood pressure go up? Yes. Yeah, your blood pressure go up. I'm yes. looking all crazy. I'll be popping all out. I know somebody. Look at this. I look like you've been drinking. You know you don't drink. Amen. But your blood pressure went up. Why? Because somebody that rattled your cage. <laughs> Amen. 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 You can't be letting people in your cage or out of your cage. Amen. 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 Can I get a witness? Amen. So, he is looking for people who cannot free themselves. That's what Jesus is doing. He's looking for people who cannot what? Free, free themselves. Free themselves. And a lot of people think they free. They ain't free. Because a drug addict, he need what? Drugs. Keep going. Amen. Oh, yeah. Alcoholic need what? Alcohol. To keep going. I need Jesus, so I keep going. Amen. <laughs> you get an overdose of the Holy Ghost, it's going to be a shaking in the house. Can I get a witness? Amen. I don't care how many devils you got in your house. But when you get to praying and start thanking God, they can say, oh, got to go, got to go, got to go. You don't want no tea? No, I want no tea. I got to go, 
now. Why? It's something about worship. Worship do something to devils. Amen. Yeah. You, got, you got demons in your family. Y'all look at me. Yeah, yeah. You got demons in there. Amen. You say you see them all yet. The closer you get to God, God gonna show them to you. He said, oh, but I didn't know you was like that. But he was like, oh, so you said, no, girl, you know, this is me, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. They say, in the name of Jesus, he said, got to go, got to go, got to go. You know why? Your anointing, it stops and it starts things. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I, I know I ain't the only one here, God. Amen. Amen. If you said to Jesus Christ in your life, you got his spirit in you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You need to just walk with it. Walk like a peacock. Hello. Amen. 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 Hold your head up. Amen. You got it going on. Yes. Amen. 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 Ooh, that's what Paul said. I'm not ashamed of the gospel mm -hmm. of Christ. Why? It is the power. And you need power. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Every time I think about David and his little rock, this is what two can hit the giant in the head. Giant hit the ground. See, they said, David, this is a giant. He said, he's too big. I can't miss him. Mm -hmm. Bible says he hit him in the middle of the head. He took the giant sword, hold his head up, and chopped it off and came back with his head. That people were shocked. This little guy, he had power. Mm -hmm. And remember, he was a king. Mm -hmm. A young king, he was anointed. But when they really put him in that anointing was on him so heavy. Then he came back. People got jealous. People gonna get jealous and get upset. Some of you get ready to run into some money. Some of you get new jobs. Mm -hmm. Some of you ain't got to do nothing. Some of you listen. You gonna you're gonna be blessed when you ain't even labor that. Thank you, Lord. And folks ain't gonna lie to you. I put all my life, but it isn't even you coming up here and you know, I'm tired of this folks wagon. You doing you, you know what you doing on the bench. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Been a man around the corner, see you later. So, and that's when you gotta look at things. Amen. You can't keep John Phillips aside for people, just pray for him. Amen. Amen. Give him scripture. That's right. They don't want to talk about him, he go, put it in the low. Scripture. I ain't say put no money, I say scripture. <laughs> Amen. It'll help them. They read it and believe it. They gonna say you're trying to be smart. Mm -hmm. No, not, not smart. I am smart because I'm serving God. Amen. 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 And He brings in wiseness and understanding every time I'm seeking. He be showing you stuff. Yes. Have you ever walked past stuff and said that ain't mine? Keep on going. Look around, God show you a dream or a vision, or take you back there and say, "This yours. Yes. All that's your all, 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 all that. Yes. See, we too busy trying to buy. Listen now, here now, the property on the house. Uh, uh. Get the land. Yes. See, you get the land, you can tear that property down and build what you want to build. Amen. 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 See, you're a landholder, not just a builder holder, because. Katrina may come again. Can I get away? Amen. Amen. If you ever know about Katrina, she tell her. Yeah. She can't turn on no land. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, from, from the bondage of repetitive failure, in other words, continue to fail. Look, everything you do, you keep failing and failing. Feeling. He brings you from that. Thank you, Lord. And the imprisonment of shame. People are in prison because of shame. The stuff that happened to them mm -hmm. in their past or in their life. You got to break that chain of shame. Yes. Hallelujah. And hold your head up. Yes. I am who God said that I am. Thank you, Lord. And mean it. I told you last week, some folk, you got to just let go. You got to discharge them. Amen. You hang around folk don't mean you no good. Amen. You think they can, some got the gift of gab. They can talk. <laughs> I got out the car. I got out the car. Boy pull over the car. He said, yo, what's up, player? I said, number gang, number gang. 
<laughs> he bust up laughing, right? I'm coming there to worship God. He's going to a party. He going to hit. He going to do his thing. I'm going to mine. Amen. Play up. Hello, Amen. somebody. You need to get this game. Amen. This is the eternal game. Amen. Lord help us, Holy Ghost. Amen. So, he is saying, if you will allow me, I will fix it. That's what he's talking about your life. God said, if you allow me, I'll fix it. When you allow God to fix it, there's going to be a change. And always remember this. When you ask God something according to his will, start thanking him for the victory. Thank you. Amen. You're going to have to take on that war room characteristic. When you go into your prayer room, you're going in with victory signs and put them on the wall. Amen. Amen. You're going through stuff, but I'm going to overcome it. Yes. It's already done. You can be going there crying and crawling up in there, but I'm coming out of this thing. Yes. I know it's got me yes. down, but I'm coming out of it. Yes. It's the day of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I do think you're crazy, but the angels in heaven are flapping their wings and saying, God, can I go? Dispatch me, God, so I can go down and help me. Say, Not yet, because you know why? I love it when they pray. Amen. 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 What well, another reason? I love it when they call me Big Daddy. Hello. Amen. That's what God says. I love it when you call me Papa. Amen. Hello, Big Papa. <laughs> That's who he is. Big Papa. Amen. Amen. He keep his word. Isaiah, the 49th chapter, uh, verses. Uh, mm, Eight and nine, but I want to amplify this. I know y'all have the King James Version. All well and good, but I want to go a little further with the uh, amp, amplified. Can you amplify that for me, evangelist, please? If you don't amplify it, you can still go into your King James Version, but you're going to get a clear understanding as I use the amplifier. Amen? Amen. And if you don't, just hear me. This is what I'm saying. Just want to just take my time with this right here. I know, you, I know you're in a hurry. Take your time. Praise the Lord. All right, you have it? Yes, sir. Come on. Thus says the Lord, uh -huh. in an acceptable and favorable time. In a favorable, listen, in a favorable time. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. It's my time. It's, it's my, my time. time. Hallelujah. It's my time. Amen. My time. Right now. Favorable. And it comes from God. Uh-huh. I have heard and answered you. Did you hear that? Did y'all hear your hand? He said, I heard you. And now I'm answering you. That's why you told your neighbor, it's your time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in a day of salvation, mm -hmm. I have helped you. I have helped you. That's why I saved you. I delivered you. Uh-huh. And I will preserve you. <laughs> I will preserve you. Thank you, Lord. And sometimes your body be hitting like snack, crackle, and pop. You know, yes. you like that. Praise the Lord. That's just letting you know that God's still with you. Amen. Amen. He said, but I'm going to preserve you because you got work to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. And give you for a cup. And wait a minute there. And give. You see, and, and he's a giver. Yes, yes, he is. He said, I'm going to get. He always give it. Amen. Never take it. Always give. He ain't no Indian giver. Amen. Can I get with him? Amen. Uh huh. What you say? Now you can go. And give you. And give you. This person, though, is you. You, 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 you. You, 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 Give you a covenant to the people. In other words, I'm giving you a covenant to the people. I have an agreement. That means I've got an agreement with you. i got a bond with you yes. that no one can break. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Uh-huh. To raise up. Mm. To what? Raise up. To raise up and what? And establish the land. Wait a minute. See, I think I did talk about some land. Yes, I think about some land. God talking to you. Amen. What did you just tell your neighbor? God, it's, a time. 
it's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your from its present state of ruin. From its present state. In other words, he said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to rebuild. Mm. But it's going to make you the owner. Amen. Thank you. And you will prosper yes, off sir. the owner. Yes, I will. I'm looking for all of y'all to have seven houses, live in one, and get a residual income off of all the rest mm. of them. Amen. Amen. Can, I, can, can, yes, can we go there? Yes, yes. Well, praise the Lord for the agreement. I will get by because y'all just agree. Amen. That's what the word say. Just speak it. Call those things to be not as though they were. You know you can't live in those seven houses. No. Amen. Take the one. Take that one. Tear it down. Build a new one. But the other six, straight rent. Straight Rent. It's called residual income. In other words, while you're sleeping, money is going into your account. Yes. So you wake up four o'clock in the morning, ching 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 eight thousand dollars, ching 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 two thousand dollars, ching 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 ten thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, fifteen days. Yes. 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 Maybe. Maybe. I'm right with you. I'm here. Keep it keeps coming. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. How you living? Righteous. How you living? Righteous. If you know you're living righteous, start looking for yes. what? Increase. Increase your income. Yes. Increase. Tell me, I ain't got no job. Anybody ask you, did you have a job? Amen. <laughs> huh? And if you got a job, that job ain't for you. That job is to help somebody else. Amen. Oh, I don't like that job. I don't want that job. Then. I don't help nobody else. You ain't going nowhere. In order to have it all, you got to give it all. Amen. Amen. When you get saved and set, when, you, when Christ in your life, he don't make you stingy. Amen. No, he, that's right. He said he's a giver. A cheerful one at that. Some people are so tight when they walk in, they squeak. Hello, somebody. <laughs> what was that? Is that my and then one, and then they supposed to do. They supposed to do. Finally, they got holes in their pockets. Where they go, to, where they get to their journey, they broke. Mm -hmm. Who's these people found? These are the people picking up your money. Amen. Amen. You got holes in your pocket. Amen. Mm -hmm. God is a giver. Yes, He is. And if you got any kind of God in you, you gonna get it. Yes. Amen. You gonna Amen. give God your time. Yes. Oh yes, you are. You gonna give Him your sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, you are. Yes, you <laughs> the money is His anyway. Amen. He said, I gave you power to speak to the dead presidents. Speak. Amen. What did he say about the tree? He said, you can rebuke that tree and cast it over. It will do what? Whatever you say it would do. Money ain't nothing but trees. That's right. Trim down <laughs> and put dead presidents on it. Amen. But you got the power to make them alive. Amen. 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 They said, how fast can you count a thousand? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't need all y'all around me. Is there 200? Wait a minute, start all over again. Somebody looking at me. I look at you. <laughs> y'all know I'm telling you. You got to find your spot where nobody around and go. You, 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 one, two. I messed up. Then if you give money out of the machine, yeah. you be giving up, instead of 20 hours, you be giving up 40 hours, say, because it's so close together. Mm -hmm. Anytime you get money, new money, yeah. get you a room or get you a door so we can close it and lock it. Take all that money, ball it all up, throw it all over the place, then you straighten it all out. That way you can feel it. In other words, you're going to be giving up more. Amen. Am I making sense? Because the money you get now is it's really like that. The yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give me 20 dollars, Jesus. Let me tell you something. He gave you 20 dollars. He got it all, right? Amen. He got it all. If he got it all, he said, I'm going to give you. I'll share with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh-huh. 
and to apportion and cause them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you say they're going to give a portion? A portion. Gonna, I'm going to get a portion? You said get a portion? <laughs> you talking to me? Yes, sir. Uh, I can't hear you. Because <laughs> I get excited. What's coming to me? Yes, I get sir. excited. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Uh, yeah. no, 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 no. Thank you. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. That girl got, she got a beautiful song out. Did not call? Kayla. What I call? Jacob. Well, call, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. About a portion. Yes. That girl sings it. She said, poverty is not your portion. Amen. Sickness is not your portion. Amen. That's none of your portion. He said, affliction is not your portion. That girl go on and sing. I said, listen, I know, I know God gave her that song. Yes. And she's a worshiper. Yes, right. Hear me. When you run into worshipers, they always got something good to say. Always. Always, people of God. All right. Well, now give me my portion. And to apportion and cause them to inherit. And cause them to inherit. A portion. A portion. And go. He's going to give me a portion and he's going to cause me to inherit. Holy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm receiving this. Yes. I'm sitting there looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm down with it. I'm receiving the word. Amen. I get excited about the word. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Remember when folks used to cuss you out? Yes. Those of you used to start cussing them back. Hello, man. Two chickens cussing each other out. <laughs> Amen. They just had all the news. They had a turkey attacking people. <laughs> yeah, wow. People riding their bikes in the park. Turkey going to jump out now. more. So I'm them. Wow. It's a big turkey. So he belonged in the pot in the oven on the grill. Yeah. He was fighting them. They said, no, I'm not turkey. I said, you don't cook this turkey. He was making, he had a two turkey. Look at the turkey. Freddy Cougar and them, they can't go to sleep. Chucky and all of them, you know. 
they they watch this stuff. And, it's, and, it's, and I always watch this. Say, people go to the movie or they come in your house or in your house and they watch a horror movie and they be like, ah! Why are you putting your hand over your face for horror? Yeah, they be like, dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 I gave up everything. 
anything. I gave him a drug, I took all my stuff away, and that check, you know, at the time of that check, right? I was honest. I went and told the people. I said that I won't need the check because I got a job. They said, Mr. Reed, go ahead. You, 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 you get a check for once a month. I said, but no, that's taking somebody else if I need it. He said, Mr. Reed, you all right? You go ahead. I had argued with him. Got my check. Okay. Now I get eighty two fifty. I get in the ties line. Uh, I, you know, with my with my cap, uh, khakis and high boy shirt and my heat miser haircut and my bobos. <laughs> and folk was laughing. Now these was the folk trying to get me in the church. When I get in the church and I'm paying ties, I'm paying ties, and I'm and I'm just crying. And I'm looking at them. They was crying. I say, well, shucks. Is they smoking weed or something? Cause they just, I mean, they was laughing and stuff. Look at me, I said, what the heck's so funny? I said, there ain't nobody standing but me. So I said, you know what? God, this ain't good. Amen. He said, focus on him. Amen. I focus on God. And God bless me for three jobs. I quit them all and took one and made triple your salary just on the one job. Amen. And retired from the job and elevated to supervising all in the in Philadelphia Electric Company. God bless me. Amen. Yeah, he bless. Matter of fact, he gave me the church to do all of that. Amen. I got the I got the building on Clearfield Street under IR, which was the, uh, the customers that was there. They were gone, but I had to go check it out. And when I checked it out, I looked in the place. Water was up like this, and rats was in there. Rats was in there. Yeah. Job. I had to get you the other side of it. Put on boots, went on over there, and I got right in the middle of the place. God said, This is the place. I said, This is the devil talking to me. <laughs> See, God talking to me, God, it ain't no way in the well. I said, This is the place. They drained that water out. I was in that place before the week was out. A week, big place, 27,000 square feet. Wow. And I worked for, what, 13 years? I was there building on the building. And, and just as soon as we go over the other side to bring a rehab in, I had to the government, I didn't need nothing for them. I got a whole plan that's gonna operate. And they say, what is your plan? I say, we're gonna fast, we're gonna pray, they're gonna take showers. Yeah, in 72 hours, they're gonna be healed. He said, now that joke must be on crack. But it worked. And they saw the proof of it. They shut me down. Now the place is a, what is a probation officer place. Well, they fought against me for two years. All because I was doing the right thing. Each time you do the right thing, look for a fight. Amen. And be prepared to win. Amen. Amen. I ain't going to fight to lose. Amen. Amen. He said, everybody can fight, but you got to win. Amen. <laughs> can I get a witness? Amen. You got to win. The strategy. I said, God, I thank you. But through the whole deal of it is, let me tell you something. All I was doing was in the name of Jesus. He called me to do it. And we were, I, it, it, it was so that when it would rain outside, rain was coming inside. I had a bucket here, a bucket over there, and a bucket over there. People came in the church with umbrellas. Back. The picture was back. People was coming with umbrellas. You know why? They said something about this church here. Them folk got the dance and sliding all over them floors. <laughs> you little James Brown and every person he had the steps going with it. Them folk dance. They did look bad. Y'all talking about the Tootsie Roll and all that stuff. They had that beat. They would look. Them folk was going off. They came up walking. They was, people got out their chairs. They was going. Stop it. Stop it. Yes. God, God bless us. Body problems. Amen. Yeah. That's what they said. People got body problems. <laughs> Falling out, rolling, give me shut in. God was healing and delivering. God was, listen, God was healing people with full blown AIDS. Yeah. God was healing people with, 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 with double stage four and five cancer. Yeah. People that weren't going to, they gave you, they doctors gave you days and time to live. We took it, put it in the prayer bar, went in, went in the shut in and prayed. No full come in to look like that brand new money. Don't tell me what God can do. Tell me what God, I know what God can do. I'm a living example of what God can do. But we sit back and we say, well, y'all, no, 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 shut your mouth. Believe God. Amen. You got to believe God for what he says. That's why when you read his word, what he say, you hold on to it. Amen. You hold on to it. 
You finish it? Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. Isaiah 61, verse 1 and 2, ain't that? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. I'm almost out of here. I'm not going to do no part two today. I need you part two Sunday. I'm just going to do part one today. Amen. Because I want you to clearly understand what I'm talking about. Amen. Anointed to what? To heal the broken hearted. How many times has your heart been broken? Mm. You can walk down the street and you can see old flame in your heart. Say, uh, you better pick it up and smile. Amen. Dance on across the other side of the street. Amen. 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 He's breaking again too. Now see, it might just look like mush, but you better act like you know. Amen. Amen. I can't talk. You better open your mouth. I don't know. I just get in there and study. You know, his presence, his presence. Who presence? Let me tell you something. That's control. That's right. Satan attacks you three ways. Intimidating, manipulating, and what? Dominating. He wants control. And you may not believe that. Ain't nobody got no control of me. Yeah, got control of you. They control you. If God ain't in control, listen. If God ain't in control, they are in control. Amen. Oh, yeah. Like I said, you ain't going to talk like that. Sitting outside holding your rollers in your hair. Hello, somebody. <laughs> hey, man, somebody. Looking, to get, looking for a new shot. But it's important that you understand that God got you. Yes, he does. You can't depend on nobody but God. Amen. Hey, man. Amen. And they got to put people in your life that's going to hey. help you. That was going to encourage you. That's going to strengthen you, not tear you down and mess you up. Amen. 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 Read. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Uh huh. Because the Lord has anointed. He has what? Anointed. Uh. Uh. Anointed. Uh. Anointed. Uh. Anointed. Uh. Anointed. Uh. Anointed. Uh. Sí. 
is that? Jesus asked Chris, hey, he said, who are you? He said, we are legions, for we are many. Legions mean 4,000 to 6,000 demons in one man. And God showed me that when I was up at the detention center of Holmesburg, and the detention of and the house of correction. When I was preaching, we got about 4,500 500 men each, each session, you know, Monday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night. He said, through the demon knowledge that you teach, I want to show you how heavy that anointing is I put in your life. A lot of these guys they ain't saved. They don't know Jesus and they full of demons. You got legions in the house. He said, he said, legions in the house. But the legions had more respect than, than, than for the presence than anything else because they knew that they would have to be what? Cast out. They know. But see, when you got fear, they eat you alive. God said, I called you. That's why he said, I called you to bind up. If God called you to bind up, God called you to do something, you got to do it. Amen. Amen. It's called purpose. Amen. Did you hear what I say? Purpose. Amen. And I say, God, I thank you for the covering. And it's a covering. Amen. That covering. Is... Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. I'm almost. I'm going to start over again. <laughs> uh -huh. He has sent me to bind up. Bind up what? And heal the broken heart. Heal the broken heart. And that's what the devil does. He breaks people hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have loved ones that you love. They break your heart. Mm -hmm. And if you tell them, look like they try to cut it out. Mm -hmm. So you got to pray for them. Amen. Even when it hurts. Yeah. Amen. And then... They don't understand God like you understand Amen. God. Amen. Getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. You do that through your study. Amen. That's how you get to know you. Because Jesus was on assignment. He had to rebuke Peter. He loved Peter. He said, get behind me. He said, because I do not care for the things that what? Of God, but the things of man. To proclaim liberty to the physical and spiritual captives. Mm -hmm. And the opening of the prison and of the eyes to those who are bound. Of those that are bound. Oh, man, the doors are opening up. But see, I look at the, the, the inmates that do get out. Mm -hmm. But what about the people that's not in prison, like behind the bars, that are bound? It's bondage everywhere. Yeah. Uh, what was that? What was that? That 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 same Daniel said. He said, uh, 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 "Outlaw." He he said something very powerful. He said, "He said that." I think he's writing. He's uh he's right. He he already started two books already. Amen. Amen. But he's right. He's writing and preaching. But but he gave me a th when I heard it, I was half asleep. I say it makes a lot of sense. You say you're outlaw by nature or by force, am I right? He says, uh, yeah, by nature. In other words, you either force it to be an outlaw. By choice or by force. Or by force, by choice. Or outlawed force. by force or choice. Outlawed by choice. By force. By or force or choice. choice. And look at it. Think about it. Every last one of us. We were outlaws. We were outlaws. By force. Yeah. You might not have no 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 horse. Hello, somebody. Amen. Or a donkey. <laughs> or a zebra, because a zebra don't lose its stripes. Can I get it with you? Amen. It's the truth though. Yeah, yeah. Every last one of us has been in brokenness. Yeah. Some are still in brokenness. But you don't have to stay in it. Jesus took all that to the cross. Amen. Amen. Took it all to the cross with him. He said, for the sun sets free, it's free Amen. indeed. I was free. Yes. I ain't no free slave. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Right? I was a free slave. You a fool. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not talking no more. I'm your free slave. You know what I'm saying? Right? Can I get it with you? I'm a sovereignty because Amen. God is sovereign. I'm a sovereignty. In other words, I'm on the private side, but yet God's side. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Number two. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, mm -hmm. the year of his favor, uh -huh. and the day of vengeance of our God mm -hmm. to comfort all to who comfort all Lord. his Lord. So you got favor all the way around. Amen. Thank you're going to have your morning days. You're going to have your, you know, your, uh, nights when you go to sleep. You pull it wet from sleeping and crying, you know, but that's all right. Get up. Change the pillow case. Put it, put it in the corner. Get you another one. Go back to sleep. You ever get that one? Do another one. But guess what? Once it comes out, full of with God's word. Amen. Amen. You ain't got to bother nobody. They're going to bother you. Yeah, amen. Absolutely. Can I get away? Amen. Okay, Matthew 11. King James Version. 2 through 6. Matthews. Matthew 11, chapter, verses 2 through 6. You have your man? Yes, sir. Tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. I said, tell me something. Amen. Now, when John had heard in the prison, now John was locked up, uh huh. The works of Christ. He sent two of his disciples mm -hmm. and said unto him, What he said? Art thou he that should come? Art or, thou? Uh, he in prison. Are you, are you are he the one that's supposed to come? Who is he? Uh huh. Or do we look for another? Mm hmm. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which you do hear and see. In other words, fifth verse says, This is what's happening. This is what Jesus was doing. What are we doing? The blind receive their sight. The blind receive their sight. You know, I, 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 I got a neighbor. He, he gave him a new kidney. You know, he was on dialysis. I gave him a new kidney. But he's blind. Now, I, 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 I look at his face. He got two Jeeps. <laughs> one in the back yeah. and one in the front. Mm -hmm. He blind. So we were talking, and I said, what made you buy that big, that big truck out there? He said, yeah, now you know, I want to go somewhere, I want to go somewhere. I said, I understand that, but you need a driver. He said, God going to send me a driver wow. to go where I need to go. Because he would come out here, he comes out of his house, fill on the gate, fill on the truck, stick the key in, and starts it up. I was in the house, I was coming to the door, and I saw him doing that. He started up, turned his radio on, had his hand, hang out like this, and my car was parked in front of his. So I just came out and moved my car, put it on the other side. <laughs> because he had decided he wanted to drive. I don't know. I don't know, you know, he said he wanted to drive, so I put it on the other side of the street. Right? And I looked at him, and he was sitting out there, no problem. I said, you all right? He said, I'm all right, man. Where we now? I said, okay. He said, man, I just thank God. I said, I'm praying for your sight. Amen. He said, I'm praying for your sight. He said, because I got to go down to Florida. Maybe I can get a kidney down there, but they gave me one here about, about a month ago. They gave me one. But he, he said that the problems he's going through to try to get that thing regulated back in the hospital again. But uh, he said, but listen, man, he said, man, he, he, he calls me and complain. So I, I listen, I don't want to hear all that, but I'll be trying to take it to another level. And then I say, now, let's pray, brother. He said, okay, you go ahead and pray. And I pray. And after I pray, I say, listen, I'll get back with you. And when you come home, I got something for you. Because he love to eat. He love to eat. He love, he love to cook it. And I said, um, he said, no problem. Then all of a sudden, he started playing again and started cussing and going all over and everything. I said, man, that's the thing I got to work on. Now, he accepted Christ in his life. Mm -hmm. He accepted Christ in his life. And I said, we're going to pray for your sight. Amen. And he said, the reason why it, it messed him up, because he wasn't keeping with his appointments. And they were sticking needles in his eyes. He said, man, and, and, and he said, man, uh-uh. So he lost his sight. I said, but God can give it back to you. Amen. Amen. I 
say that I just seen it happen. God gave me, gave it back to me. Amen. I went to the doctor Wednesday. They, they kept me in. How long they kept me in? Three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. I don't stay in the doctor's office like that. Not me. They couldn't believe it. The the what they call interns. They were running around and going crazy. Going back and forth. I called them pit and pat. They were going there. They couldn't see. How many times they get on the machine? Said, so the doctor came in. He said, "Miss Sweet, can I show you something?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this was your, what is that, your, your retina your and, retina, and uh, your pupil. Your pupil. Your pupil. Your this, vessels. This, this was your vessel. All oh, this was yours in August. Bleeding. When I looked at that, I said, oh, my God. That eyeball looked like an OD. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Yeah. I, looked at, I looked at that thing. I said, that my eyeball? See, that was your eyeball yeah. in August. But, I am surprised. I ain't never seen nothing like this in my so life. Bad. See, look at here. Look at here. They ran all the way. I said, oh, what are coming here for? <laughs> look at look. Look. Because I was telling you that. I said, I'm glad. I can't see out them things they gave me. Right? They said, what was wrong with the glass? I said, I don't know what's wrong with it. She said, you know what's happening? She said, what was happening was the first time we took it. I said, I ain't, nah, I ain't receiving that. No. Said, you might not receive it. But that's, where that's, you that's where you were headed. Mm -hmm. But I said, nah. Mm -hmm. God, 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 God gonna speak to these vessels. God gonna touch them. Amen. And I prayed, I prayed, went on to sleep, prayed, went on to sleep, prayed, went to sleep. And each time I rubbed my eyes and everything, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and I'll tell you something. She said, how you feel? I said, I feel good. She said, with the glass you got you guys, you got, I said, the old glass, he said, can't you see your sight going back? It's going back the way it's supposed to be going. I said, it's going all the way it's supposed to go. Why? Because of the simple fact, I believe in God. I said, God, you need this body. You're healing my legs. You're doing everything. You're, you're healing me. And the enemy came to take me out. They said, we don't know how the heck you made that out. You made it out. They said, how do how you do that? What you doing? See, I drink a little anointing oil. Yes, you do. You drink what? Anointing oil. I drink it every day. Two or three times a day. Mm -hmm. The body is a healer for the body. Yeah. Just like I smack it upside your head for oil when I pray Amen. for you. It works on the inside and the outside. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yo, yo. Yeah, it's better than life. See, it works better than all that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and, and, and it was an apple side. Apple side of it. Yeah, when that when they were done, when, when when what happened to my son happened, I held that thing in. You know, I just I let God held it in. That thing held me for like five or six months. Until that thing hit me to my blood pressure went up to what was it? Over two hundred. Over two hundred. My went up to seven hundred. I was dehydrated. He said I was walking corpse. He wanted to say you ain't go you, you you didn't just fall and die. They didn't tell me you got COVID. They ain't arguing in the hospital that I got COVID. I'm telling you, I ain't got COVID. We're going back and forth. <laughs> so I'm like, these people I ain't got no COVID. I'm telling you. And yeah. the devil trying to take me. They arguing. I said, I'm not going to talk to you. I said, get me a doctor. We are doctors. No, there's a doctor over you. His name is Jesus. Amen. And they put me in a room. Five days. Mm -hmm. All I can eat. All you dead all around. Mm -hmm. Death around. People just dying like flies. Just mm -hmm. dying. Bringing in hearts and bringing in livers and stuff. And I'm sitting up there saying, God, what is this? Hey, cold for, cold for, cold for. Somebody has died. And the Spirit of the Lord said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, yes. I fear no evil while I die with me. The next day, this is on the third day I was there, this woman came in. It's amazing how she came. She walked in, closed my door, Caucasian okay, woman. I could see. Anointing in her eyes. And she said, What happened to you and your family was demonic mm -hmm. because of the work that you had been doing for God. Yep. Satan is upset with you. He been trying to kill you. But behold, God's hand is upon you. Yeah. You shall not die, but live. And I looked at her and I went, Whoa, whoa, okay. And I got up to go see where she went at. I went the same where she went. I went to turn and ask up and where did that the lady go there with say, Well anybody come back and see I went back to I went back and I sat down and said, God, let me say what the scripture
church is saved. We entertain angels unawarely. Not unawarely. And when I read the scripture, the Spirit of God just fell on me again. Amen. I was ready to go. Oh, yeah. So my daughter, my baby girl, I said, look, I said, you got to come get me. She said, come get you. I said, yeah. I didn't buy that truck for you to be riding around here laughing and grinning. You better come get me about this joint. <laughs> so my granddaughter came and I and he told me, sit in the back. I said, who are you talking to? Better <laughs> get you get in the back, girl. Well, she drove me from there to the hospital. I said, you won't drive me nowhere no more. I said, I just got out of the hospital. I ain't trying to go back. <laughs>
the lepers are cleansed. They are cleansed. The lepers, uh huh. And the deaf hear. Mm -hmm. you, you got a lot of you got a lot of that in church now. Yeah. Deaf, they don't hear nothing. They say the deaf what? The hear. deaf hear. They hear. They hear. Uh huh? Huh? Me? Yeah. Uh. You talking to me? Then you got the people sitting right here and look at you like this asleep. Won't <laughs> <laughs> better out they sleep. Then uh, uh. <laughs> so, so I slow them down and say <laughs> <He's> sleep. <laughs> George. Oh man. And they say that's the best sleep you can get. Yeah. <laughs> When the preaching's going on, oh, that's when you you get tired. You get tired. You just body down here. Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory. I ain't said nothing. Oh, <laughs> in advance then. But this is It's important. See this. And God will wake you up now. Amen. I say God will wake you up. Amen. And the death. The deaf oh, hear, uh -huh. the dead are, ra are raised up, uh -huh. and the poor have the gospel preached to them. That's why, listen, listen, any poor folk ever hear the gospel, wealth comes to them. Amen. Amen. Yes, it does. It has to come because he has it in his plan. Amen. That's what God, he said, preach to the poor. When you preach to the poor, poor in spirit, poor in finance, poor in everything, whatever they poor do, preach, I'm going to lift it, I'm going to break it up. Thank you, Lord. Uh-huh. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. He said you're blessed, because see, people are going to try to make you feel some type of way because you ain't Jesus. Amen. That's all you know, it's Jay, sorry. Or whatever. I want you to know me. No, I want to know Jesus. Amen. People get upset with you. John 3, King James Version, 34, 35, 36. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. For he whom God has sent speaketh the words of God. It says 30, 30, well, let's say 30, I'm sorry, 32, 32 to 36, I'm sorry, go to 32. And what he has seen and heard, mm -hmm. that he testifies. That's what testif testimony is about, what you see and heard. Amen. Test, moan, moan, test. You go through. Anybody going through? Amen. Amen. Yeah, it goes like this. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I say, you ain't what they're going on. Ha, 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 ha. Why? Because I'm coming through it. Yes. Amen. Don't hold I'm going through it. Amen. Uh-huh. And no man receiveth his testimony. Mm-hmm. He that hath received his testimony. Come on. Has set to his seal that God is true. He set to the seal that God is true. Uh-huh. For he whom God has sent speaketh the words of God. Who? That's very important. When God sent a man or a woman out, mm -hmm. they speak about God. It ain't about them. It's about God. Amen. About his son Jesus. That's the gospel of death, the burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So when God sent a man or woman out, and you're going to find out when you when you start coming to new, to these new members classes, Matter of fact, it's Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. yep. You're going to learn a whole lot of stuff Amen. in 45 minutes. Amen. Oh, yeah. There's a package in there for you. Amen. I see there's a package in there for you. And it ain't from Amazon. Hello, somebody. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. Lord, praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Come on. For God giveth not the spirit by measure unto him. Oh, wait a minute. God does not give what? The, the spirit, spirit by measure, measure unto, him. unto him. He don't measure it up. He gives it out. Amen. Hub, 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 hub. Mm -hmm. Tell somebody. 
No, you didn't, because I ain't touch you. Come on, him. He's for Jesus. Come on. Praise the Lord. The Father loveth the Son. Yes, he does. And hath given all things into his hand. All things mm -hmm. into his hand. But that's why when you pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I didn't tell all in the name of Jesus. No, no, no. Break all that up. Amen. I know some folk can make you so angry. Look down and catch your breathing. And then go on and pray. And ask God to forgive you for your attitude. And when you ask God to forgive you for your attitude, now ask God to forgive them that brought the attitude. Amen. Good God. Man. Something going to happen. You feel better. See, when you free, you don't worry about nothing. Can I do it? Amen. Amen. Listen, listen. I've seen people, they be so free so they let their freedom destroy them. Mm -hmm. For instance, when, when they, they set the slaves free, they say, go on, you ain't got to keep the pick no more cotton. Mm -hmm. Well, where can we go? What can we do? We're going down Mrs. Smith uh, plantation. Mrs. Play, can we, can we work on your plantation? Now, you don't have to work anymore. Uh, you're not a slave anymore. Well, we don't know nothing else but to do what we do. Can you see, training and teaching is very important. Mm -hmm. Amen. We've been through, they talk about the Holocaust, we've been through some stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. When they gave an African and bring us over here, said a lot of them dived in the water because they refused to be a slave. They let the sharks eat them. Mm -hmm. They refused to be a slave. Wow. But go on back to Africa, no. Nah. He was born in America. This is my land. This is my. This is get this some of this land Amen. here. I'm here. That's right. That's what the Word of God tells us. That's what she was saying to y'all yeah. earlier. But what we do a lot of times, we get prejudice in us. We get so prejudiced, we start getting prejudiced to one another. It reminds me in, 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 the, in the slavery. You had your house Negroes and you had your Field Negroes. Yeah. Now the house Negroes always snitched on the field yeah. Negroes. Yeah. Hey boss, look, he look like he left tied over there. <laughs> what do you think of the, you need some women, don't need some women, but master, 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 master. You still doing the same thing today. Mm -hmm. That's true. They don't want the field Negro in the house. Mm -hmm. And the house Negro don't want to go in the field. So whatever masters say, That's right. they do. And one of the treatments they used, they used to take the mother and the father and their children and beat the mother and father in front of the children. Break them. It's called brokenness. And, uh, and, and, and listen, when that happens, the master rules. Right. That's why when they had their services, they had preachers that was there, they would beat down by the water. They'd beat the drums. they said send something down by the river. Nothing would be have a meeting down there. And when Master found out that the preacher was preaching about slavery and all, they put him in feather and tar. Tar and feather. Hung him up. Do you not know if, if you read? They just made lynching. A law. After all this time, yeah, it's a law. It's criminal law now. It's criminal law. It's criminal law now. But what about all the way back? All the way now, they, 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 they was hanging. Folks just be hanging. Mm -hmm. They made just made it a law. So when I look at what's happening, you have this. Spiritual wickedness in high places. They had a black judge. Hear me now. Married to a white guy. With children. Black children, right? And and and, and he was he was happy. Thought, this is my husband. I said, Well, this your husband, you the judge. I said, he doesn't want to be. I said, look at it in the Holy Spirit, look at the wickedness. Everything's so 
mama said, it's okay, it, it's, okay. it's legal. Mm -hmm. He said, they're not going away. They're not going away. <laughs> they, they, they're going against the scriptures. Amen. And people coming out crazy. They, they, they got this other boy running for mayor. Mm -hmm. My name is King Allen, son. Oh, yeah. And I'm gay, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looking like a predator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to win this thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> See, look at this. Let me say this to you. These are the last and evil days. Mm -hmm. Satan is churning out folk left and right. Mm -hmm. That's why I said before. Keep your children close to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let them stay in places that you don't know nothing about. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Boys go, go one way, come back another. Girls, mm -hmm. they messing these children. Mm -hmm. uh, you got perverts everywhere. That spirit of Beelzebub is real. Amen. Mm -hmm. Satan never stops. That's why he's always trying to make you feel some type of way. Get out your feelings and get in the spirit. Amen. And God going to bless you. Did you, you finish it? Before we get I'm at 36. Okay. You get three now? Yes, sir. Okay. He that believeth on the Son hath, uh -huh. hath everlasting life. Has everlasting life. That's why we don't worry about death. Amen. We don't worry about death. We have to tell when I, I'm going to get to heaven. I'm going to heaven. <laughs> going to heaven. Get with that. Get it back. The belly day. Tell me to get up there. Why do you see the new Jerusalem coming down? What are you saying? Heaven ain't your home. Amen. If you go there, it's just for excursion. <laughs> Seven years. Amen. So, Amen. That's all. But I want to go see my grandmother. You see your grandmother, your great grandmother. You can see mother. But I want to. I want to find my aunt. What's that? An, an, ancestry. Ancestry. Yeah. Some of you was found yesterday. You said, "Oh my goodness." That's what, that, that's where you got to be careful with that that, that uh, curse. The curse line. Mm -hmm. But since you accepted Jesus Christ, Lord, like you had, that curse is broken from you. Mm -hmm. Very much. You know, that's why I love teaching. It's very important that you understand what you did that little bit. Amen. And you'd be surprised at the people that are confused that do not know themselves. But if you know Jesus, mm -hmm. he's going to show you some things. Amen. Amen. And when he show you, he going to show you you. Amen. He show you how to get you together. Amen. You finish it? Yes, sir. Okay. And he that believeth not the Son mm -hmm. shall not see life. Shall not see what? Life. life. Shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. The wrath of God abideth on him. Oh. Just like he did on Cain. Oh. Abel and Cain was brother. And because the jealousy that Cain had against Abel, he screwed him and hit him in the head and killed him. And his brother cried out. And God said to him, he said, where are thy brother? And Cain said, am I my brother keeper? Well, you killed him. And God mocked him across his face, called him a vagabond. He said, from here on out, wherever you go, no man is going to bother you. I'm saving you personally. Myself. And wherever you read the scripture about his seed and all, it was all cursed and cursed line mm -hmm. because of what he did. And you got Cain with us every day. Amen. Somebody always trying to kill you. Amen. Mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, any way they can try to kill you. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. I'm finished. I don't want to go to part two right now. I'm going to say that for Sunday because it has gone to another part. Another part. Part two of, of the anointing to heal the broken brokenhearted. The people of God, your heart is broken. Ain't too much you can do. That's why you need a healing. Amen. Healing is very important. Amen. Hear me. It's so important that people don't even realize it, that I'm healed by his stripes. God gave me that, gave me that song. All night prayer. And I'm healed by his stripes. By the words. The words.
Yes, sir. Yeah. You remember? Yeah. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you were there. You was there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so, Amen. So, it's important, people, God. Be blessed. Amen. Stay honest with God. Amen. Listen, if you stay honest with God, God will show you the liars is in your life. Mm -hmm. Is that just yes. what you Amen. 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 If you stay honest with God, be true to God, he is show you the liars, connivers that's in your life or trying to get into your life. You got to be on guard for every ungodly moment. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. I hope part one has helped you out. Amen. 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 I hope that it helped you out. And we're coming back Sunday morning. Amen. 11.30 worship. And communion. Amen. Praise God. And communion. Man, Sunday school at 10 o'clock. But I hope that the word that you receive tonight help you. Amen. Amen. Go home and read this. Read it in the morning. Do it for breakfast or lunch. But do it. Do it. Do it to your satisfied. Amen. 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 Then satisfy God by doing it. Amen. Father, we thank you for this time and this space. We thank you, oh God, for your hearing. Now, God, let them be doers of your word in the name of Jesus. We bless your holy name for being God. And now, Lord, as we close out this service right now, bless us and protect us. In Jesus' name.